Hi everyone, this is Morgan, and in this video I'm going to talk about the second process journal for the character collage, Key Elements of Narrative. In all honesty, this is probably an easier one for you to understand on your own, but I'm going to show you my kind of hypothetical walkthrough of this process just so you understand it more deeply. Many of you will have written just a little bit for the first journal, the character brainstorm. I only wrote a very little bit myself. If you did that, I hope that your answers for the second process journal are as, at least as extensive as mine are here. Some of you may have written so much for your character brainstorm that you can just plug many of your responses to that in here. You just want to be giving yourself good brainstorming material. Be thinking through your project, um, gaining a, d a deeper understanding of your story. It should also go without saying, if you haven't already, I would revisit your narrative. So reread the book, rewatch the movie, etc. You're going to see here some of my answers are long paragraphs. Some are structured more as bullet points. That's fine. Do whatever makes the most sense to you for a given answer. I also did notice that with my particular story, some um, questions felt a little bit repetitive, so I got shorter as I went along. The next part of your second process journal is to create an image bank. So we did this a little bit for your fruit and color project when we were building up that first process journal. Here, I ask you to find specific images, so at least 20 images in total. You can see them listed out at the bottom of this page. I'd like you to find five images that somehow reference your character, five images that reference the setting, five images that could reference key moments in the plot, and five images of objects that relate to your narrative. I'm going to show you what I did for, again, my chosen character, Ada from the Piano. You'll see here that I've created a folder specifically for the piano, and I have subfolders labeled character, key moments, landscape, setting, and objects. So some of my character images for Ada are stills from the movie, that's fine. Some are um, of the costumes, that works too. For key moments, I pulled mostly images directly from the movie. Um, as a quick note, many of these are kind of low res. I would just be using them for reference. If you wanted to include photographs, it would be important to find a higher res image than I was able to find for many of these. So I would start thinking about what elements you would like to include as photographs because you will want to do a search for those that asks for only large images. I want to focus special attention onto the objects outlined here. Your object images are going to be used either directly or as reference images for your third process journal. So you, you want to pick things that you feel good about. I haven't taken objects directly from the movie. That's a little more challenging. Instead, I searched specifically for drawings or illustrations of elements that I found interesting in the movie. So the character wears a bonnet a lot. They have this cage crinoline, which supports their dress, which they use. I also found these Victorian hair illustrations that felt really interesting. The character lives in a jungle but has really elaborate hair throughout the whole story, so that kind of speaks to trying to recreate Western culture in this kind of far-flung place. This is also kind of a trigger warning, but the character does get a finger hacked off, so I think an obvious object to select would be an axe. For some reason, I was a lot more intrigued by these images, which focus on, you know, hair combs that were probably used to create the hair in the movie, but aren't directly shown. You're allowed to interpret your story more specifically. Um, the parasol is an illustration that is a little bit more of a direct reference. The character holds a parasol on the beach that's pretty similar in style to this one, so that makes sense. Again, as another warning, the final image is well, the final image I'm going to show here is a severed finger. It is definitely a fake silicone prop severed finger, so I'm not showing you something real. I guess if I were you, I would want a warning that I was about to see a severed finger, which is why I'm leading up to this. Um, I should also highlight one of the reasons that I included the severed finger and the parasol is that they were images that had some color in them. You want to include at least 
probably like I do two images that have some color because it'll make the next journal exercise easier. I ask you to change the value or color of something. You want to have images that actually include color. So that's my, you know, probably too lengthy explanation of your second process journal for the character collage. Shoot any questions my way. Thanks everyone.